Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, there's a good place to start with this video. My parents don't even know what URL stands for, which, by the way, Uniform Resource Locator. The topic, uh, at least for this particular video recording, is Linux. And this is a topic that comes up quite regularly in the chat room at live.perillo.com. And a few people were wondering, they are asking me specifically, uh, if I thought that Linux would ever take off in the mainstream, like Windows has, or like OS X has, an offering or the operating system from Apple. Linux is an open source operating system, meaning that various members of the community can contribute to it, and in doing so, everybody could reap the benefits from their knowledge. And that is a very powerful thing. Unfortunately, it's also a very, uh, how shall we say it, um, marketing unfriendly thing. Because since everybody's got a different idea about how something should look and work, well, it's taken the whole Linux community years to get their act together and produce something that would look just a tiny bit attractive for people like our parents who may not understand what a lot of these technical terms are. Ubuntu has been gaining a lot of mind share in the Linux community as bringing the power of Linux to the masses. Uh, at this point, Ubuntu's probably got the best chance at taking off in, in terms of uh, adoption in the marketplace. But Linux, you know, being open source, uh, finally uh, organizing the desktop to a standard interface that people could get behind and promote. If you're talking in an open source community, again, everybody's going to have a different idea. I think, though, that's what it's going to take for Linux to take off. They have to stop fighting KDE versus ICE versus GNOME. Stick with just one desktop, develop for it, and be done with it. Let people branch off and do other shells for Linux. That's fine. That's the power. That's great. But in terms of positioning and platform without a standardized experience, I don't see it happening. I mean, my parents had a tough enough time with Windows, and you think I'm going to throw Linux at them? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, we're dealing with a lot of issues, software, hardware, services, uh, experiences. And Linux, this, the biggest strengths are also its biggest weakness. I could ask people here what distribution they use. Some people are going to respond to Ubuntu. Some people Red Hat. Some people are going to say they don't use Unix at all. Now me, what I use for Linux? Oh, everything I use is on a CD. I just use what they call a live CD distribution, which it basically you can burn an image of Linux to a CD, put it in your CD drive, reboot, it'll boot up to the, as long as it boots up to the CD, Linux will load up into, in, into memory and I can be in Linux, but then when I reboot the machine, I can take the CD out and it didn't touch my hard drive at all. That's the way I experience Linux. Or I experience it through a virtual machine, which we've talked about before on this show. But as a primary operating system, I don't know, man. There's, there's way too much, um, I don't want to say animosity, but it seems that in many places when people reach out for help with Linux, the answers are totally user unfriendly. And I mean human unfriendly. Uh, and in some cases, they go all the way down to RTFM. And if you don't know what RTFM stands for, believe you me, you're not even anywhere near ready for Linux, nor are your parents or your relatives or people who just aren't anywhere near technically minded or half as technically minded as some people are in the chat room. I think the Ubuntu community is changing that attitude as well. Well, and that's the whole thing. It boils down to community and support. Uh, Ubuntu's got the mind share. They've got a good chance. And, you know, Ubuntu, the ideals behind it, uh, it combined with, you know, very powerful uh, interfaces like what you see with Barrel, which is another uh, term that we've talked about in earlier shows as well, um, we're getting there. But I don't think Linux will take off until the need for an operating system is even further minimized. We're moving more and more of our information and data and tools to the web. And that, the day that most, if not everything that we do is on the web, think about it, we're backing up files to the web, we're editing videos on the web, we're uh, putting our photos on the web, sharing files on the web, we're putting our entire, what used to be relegated to the desktop experience to the internet. Well, suddenly the gateway to the internet doesn't really matter anymore, it matters less. It matters more for the support of local hardware than it does for software. Software is moving to the web. 
maybe five to ten years from now, Linux will have a shot. Until then, the best chance for a non-Windows operating system to take off on the desktop is OS X. And I tell you, Leopard, the next version of uh, OS X, at least at the time of this recording, I'm looking at it, and the things that they're touting, I don't know, man. I've been a Windows user ever since I can remember making fun of, of the Mac people. Well, until OS X came along. Uh, I tell you, man, I may very well switch. And uh, it's something that's been very tantalizing. The video that I'm streaming right now and all the software that we have going on right now, not available for Windows. This video is being recorded on OS X. OS X, by the way, is not Linux. It's got Unix underpinnings, and that's a subject for a completely different video. But the point is, is that Apple made Unix made this incredibly complex uh, plumbing very user-friendly. And that's something you got to give Apple props for. I mean, even Microsoft's got to give them props for that. What do you guys think? Are you using Linux now? Is it, is it ready? Is, do you think it's ready? Are you having your family uh, use it and then letting them support themselves if they can? And if you can't even do that, I don't know. I don't think an operating system's got much chance. What do you think?